Mass TLC's robotics cluster explores the intersection between robotics, video games, and healthcare during a recent visit to Spalding Rehabilitation Hospital. A wearable glove that was developed uh, from, the, uh, from a group in Pisa in Italy, and uh, we are lucky to have it here and uh, use it. So you can see this line that goes around uh, the edge of the fingers. This is the actual sensor. So this is a um, piezo-resistive sensor, so it changes its resistance depending on the amount of stress it is. And uh, we have connections, there are, which, there are these uh, black lines, just like this. So basically the whole idea is that we provide a constant current in that goes around you know, all the sensor. And then we measure the voltage at different <coughs> points. So this, is, this will be one, this will be the second one, the third and the fourth. So we have four um, outputs for, for each finger. So given that the, co the current is con constant, the voltage is going to change depending on the amount of stress that you know, um, each part of the sensor is going to experience, which is going to um, sense the opening and close, closing of the hand. So if I want to make this more challenging, like if I want my subject to uh, force the hand open, I can uh, make the threshold higher. So have to actually open the hand. So this is for, for example, for stroke patients which have uh, cold contractures. Uh, this is a really interesting uh, feature that we can add with the glove. At the same time, what we can do is to calibrate the glove uh, the other way, so that it actually gives an input when the hand is open instead of when the hand closes, so that we can force them, for example, to open the hand to um, clean a window or you know perform a game instead of you know having them to push. So other feature features that we have with this uh, device are, for example, the egg tracking that we wanted to show you before. So in this case, exactly. So if uh, he pushes too hard on the egg, the egg is gonna break. So the force sensor has to stay somehow in between the red and the blue bar. So the the glove, unfortunately, was calibrated on my hand, which is smaller, so <laughs> yeah, um, he will need a, yeah, a bigger glove to be able to <laughs> control better. <laughs> um, well, because Mass TLC has a uh, robotics cluster, a video games cluster, an entrepreneurial cluster, and healthcare healthcare cluster. Um, when I participate in the robotic cluster, I can't help but think of all those components that really go into developing a technology that's used in, in, in physical medicine right now. And also in our discussion today, uh, when we talk generally about commercialization, commercialization really involves all aspects of what those expert, expert systems offer in respect to uh, uh, each group of, of, of members. So it's, uh, it's, a very, you know, it's a very integrated approach to, to developing uh, technology and market.